Now then. Imagination. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. <gasps> Finally! We're out of the desert! Huh? Oh wow! I missed all this green! Huh? Oh. Why is it so bumpy? That'd be the change in terrain, lad. See, you've got to let the suspensions get used to hard ground instead of soft sand. <sighs> Must be nice to fly everywhere. <laughs> what the? Did we just crash? Of course not. That's a... A cannonade. <laughs> My star is rising! Ah! Sanctism will reign! Ah! It's them. Remember, from the opening ceremony. I think one of them is Guideau, Forden's confidant, and the other is Luis's man, Gladell. Prominent candidates. Shouldn't the king's magic petrify them for their aggression? No, see where they're aiming. They're not shooting to kill, just to take out the opposing runner's legs. out in the wilds with no working runner. Whether they survive or not, they're dashed well out of the race. So does a clash to hold each other's advance. Damn fools couldn't resist a show of force. Look, over by the legs. That crier is there too. I see. Acting as witness to the higher candidate's conflict. It seems Gladell cannot match Gadel's firepower. What's our plan? If we just hang back and watch, Godot's gonna win. And Forden gets a leg up on the competition. Let's give Glodell a hand here. Good thinking. That way we could win Luis's regards. Agreed. Let us ride to Glodell's aid. I say, hold on! You realize you're a no-name candidate? If he wants to shut you out, he'll not have to aim for just our legs. It's a runner, isn't it? If things get too dicey, we'll just run. Didn't you say we have the fastest craft around? Uh, fine. Suppose there's no room for caution if we want the world's eyes on us. Okay, then, it's settled. Let's make sure he owes us big. There should be an external runner phone out there. We need to help. We draw good now. Who goes there? Why do you stand for Luis's forces? Well, um, sorry, can't get into it now. That Gordon. You're that commoner candidate who destroyed the Grand Cathedral. Was that not enough? You would profane the sink for the second time. So be it. In God's name, be thou punished. Interfere in my fight! Know your place! Is it fame you seek? You thought by confronting me, you might lift your own names? Then you chose the wrong opponent! I hate to interrupt, Oleg, but it's a touch more complex than that. We of the Crown Theocracy's monk army have silenced all who would oppose the eminence of God. Your petty ruses are beneath me. Now you shall know how powerless you truly are. Remember, the king's magic means we cannot move to strike Godot himself. Go for his followers first. We'll thin their numbers and turn the tide. Go, my brethren. 
put the fear of God into these impious commoners. Don't forget about the petrification magic! Uh, looks like we can't brute force through this one. Warrior! I'll cut you down! <laughs> they will fight with pride. Tonight! I'm right here. Witness me, brethren! Justice prevail! Oh, gales of wind! <laughs> Let's go! What could you hope to achieve? <laughs> Don't underestimate me! He knows we can't attack him. He's toying with us. Warrior! I'll crush you! Right on target! By the civil nice spirit of the night! We can do this! Thank you. Helpful as ever. Captain, I stood got your head in hand. Down. Oh, power of heroes! Come! Not this one. This this can't be. I call upon royal power within! You'll be dust! Resistance is that futile! Return. What could you hope to achieve? Oh, please! <laughs> Captain, they've got your defenses down. Let's go. You better be sure. <laughs> Observe for all that we strive for. This won't do. <laughs> now, what's the play? Warrior! Perhaps not. Are you prepared? Take that! <laughs> Let's go! More resilient than I expected. I would lose nothing by conceding this fight. But the faithful are watching. For the sake of my dear brethren, I must hold nothing back. Now, feel the righteous truth of sanctism engraved upon your flesh. Does this mean he's getting serious? Rise, my brother. Get in there. Sanctism will reign. <laughs> Wounded. Here they come. Anyone heal him? Stroll can't take him ah! Someone heal him. With healing power. Plus needed. My thanks. Stroll. With the curious the heart. Oh, power of heroes. In the warrior. Hack and slash. Take this. <laughs> Sanctism will reign! Brace yourselves! Stroll, they've sapped your defenses! Vita's power! We can do this! Thank you! I owe you! Behold Let justice my prevail. power! Shun! I'll blow you away! Sanctism will reign! <laughs> Take this! Here they come. Stroll, they've sapped your defenses. I won't hold back. Is there another way? Let's go. We're not out of this yet. I'm obliged. Helpful as ever. I stab with blade in hand. Oh, gales of wind! In that warrior! I'll cut you down! <laughs> Sanctism will reign! Oh, please! <laughs> Sanctism will reign! Stroll's badly wounded! Can anyone heal him? Stroll can't Knight. take any more! Someone heal him! We can do this! Plus needed. My thanks! Know your place! Come! Peasants! Done. Still standing, I, I shall vanquish evil. Hack and slash. I go to you. So, the faithful are broken before you, yet your desperate struggling is for naught. You cannot defy the inevitable. 
I am immune to all your wicked hearts. Oh, he gets to do whatever he wants, and we can't even get near him! <laughs> Bend the knee and yield to the divine truth of sanctism! Now, are you prepared for the end? Ah, I think not, you rotter! Sure. What have you done to my gauntlet runner? We have nothing to lose. At the very least, I can thrash your own clunker until it's inoperable. This is a waste of my time. So be it. You'll face your divine punishment soon enough. Phew. Finally, he took the hint. Hey, get down here. What are you playing at? You think I owe you now or something? I would have been fine without your meddling. I guess you survived this time. Don't you talk down to me. You want to see what I'm really capable of. Like Liddell, surely you can spare some manners for a crew that saved our lives? Honestly, that got a bit ugly for my liking. Well, well, well. Do my eyes deceive me? Juno the songstress in the flesh. What brings you all the way out here? A little tryst on the road, is it? Nothing so saucy. I'm afraid this cad's just my chauffeur. Now please, darling, a little privacy, or I'll have to charge for an interview. Fair enough, miss. Fair enough. Nothing you're not used to. Consider me Chasen and Shu. Besides, I might have found another angle here that's just as promising. You surprised me out there, love. You bested Godot. So you're not just a pretty face. You were more help than my useless driver, at least. <sighs> Look here. However talented and famed a songstress she may be, you must remember to contain yourselves. Songstress? Wait, is she the same needy lady who sang at the opening ceremony? I. But that's... Oh, blast it all! I can't take it anymore! I'd know the suspensions anywhere. You had Caden works upon this, eh? Yes, those are quality parts and no mistake. Luis really shells out for his own. By the crown, you can't be serious. She is Juno, the kingdom's greatest singer, the dulcet diva. Oh, this is preposterous. Surely I can't be the only one starstruck? Really? N no one else wants to shake her hand? Well, then on behalf of this group, I... I suppose it falls to me. <laughs> You're an interesting little ensemble. Wait, is that a fairy? A real living one? Where did you... Hey, up there! So that's it. I thought it was strange that a candidate like Gladell got stuck playing someone's driver. But she was still the Sanctist's pick for the opening ceremonies? Guess even Forden's camp has to bend to popular opinion. My humblest apologies, my lord Luis, for this travesty, especially when you had graced me with the privilege of bearing the lovely Lady Juna. <sighs> Glad to see Lady Juna's safe, at least. Hmm. <laughs> I could have crushed that churchman like a bug. And I would have if these insolent fools hadn't. I'm sure. Sorry, don't much care. 
It would seem you had to clean up my associate's mess. I'd like to express my gratitude, but if I might ask, who are you? I'm just another candidate. Indeed. Then we are both striving for the throne. One would think you commoners, but for the Lady Knight at your side? And you have a gauntlet, brother. Most curious. What made you decide to enter the competition? Looks like he's more interested than we anticipated. This might be our chance, so choose your words wisely, okay? Mm. I want to help you, Count Luis. Oh? You fight in my name, do you? Really now? So you thought you'd step in for a little self-promotion? We want to help anyone in need. That's what we believe in. Anyone? Most interesting. However, my immediate needs are met in terms of sword hands. Oh, come now. Don't they have a certain charisma to them? Why? I dare say I saw them use magic without igniters. Please, I know we can help you. We want nothing more than to see your vision realized, Lord Luis. You do know what that vision is built on, don't you? If you would claim yourself my ally, then prove your power before all the kingdom's eyes. You can't change the world without power, after all. If you can manage that, I'll consider your proposal. See you, Lux. Don't think this changes anything. Come on, Hector! <laughs> it soars like a damn bird! Right then, that could have gone worse. We were lucky we managed to connect with Luis this early. No thanks to that Gladell. Even should we be accepted, he'll be no ally of ours. Well, at the very least, Luis knows our faces. All we have to do now is avoid screwing it up. He wants to see our power, does he? Then let's find Heisman, bring him to justice, and show the nation we're a force to be reckoned with. As the chirping birds return to their nests, and the darkness claims its dominion, the Gauntlet Runner at last arrives at its repose, a place grown thick with trees. Are the sounds from between the trees just the leaves being caressed by the wind? Or are they the whispers of the beguiling beings of the dark? The party never has to find out, for they are safe within the Gauntlet Runner. Hear that? It's over. The end of the road. So ends the life of the genius engineer. What say we go check on him? Oh. Hey, Nurus, you okay? Oh, you too. Terribly sorry. It's nothing really. It doesn't sound like nothing. Ah, no hiding it from you, is there? No, it's just the old runner. She runs like a dream, you see, but... I wanted to make her peerless. An absolute beauty, you know, top of her class. Something that would make even old Luis's runner look like a burly apple cart. I'd not be floundering so much if I just had a bit of spark. A spark? Yes, my girl. A spark of inspiration. A moment of epiphany, like when I saw the lost relic. Lost relic? Doesn't ring a bell. Ah, yes, context. Uh, they say that long, long ago, there was a civilization so highly advanced it was beyond all modern understanding. Automation ruled the day. People lived surrounded by machinery with no need to work. Legend has it that they lived lives of convenience and comfort, but somehow that civilization just up and disappeared. Gone.
God only knows what happened to them. Sounds kind of far-fetched already. Hear me out, would you? The point is, once in a stretch, you hear about someone unearthing relics from those days of yore. Absolutely inscrutable to the layman, don't you know? But those in the know would recognize such a prize at a single glance. Have you ever seen one of these yourself? Oh, yes. When I was but a young sprocket, there was this loony old inventor in my neighborhood, both quite brilliant and quite daffy, as they often are. That old fellow only showed me his find once, but even seeing it lit a fire in me, like being struck by lightning. After that, it was like a boiling pot. Ideas, ideas, ideas rising to the surface. And my tinkering always came out marvelous. Some proper court engineer worthy genius. Something about it utterly captured my imagination. The, the, the lost relic, I mean. Wow. Uh, you could try getting him to show you again. If only I could. That old fellow went back to his own hometown. That single solitary glimpse of the past was all I had. The old goat. He told me he'd leave me the relic in his will. Okay. So where's this guy's hometown? Oh, some tiny hamlet somewhere on the outskirts of Martira. A village by the name of Kumiro or some such. This one's important. 